The media industry is a tough industry to break into as it is. Being from a minority background makes it even harder. Since 2011, the population of Asians in Australia has increased to 2.4 million, but that number isn't seen in the media. Pearl Tan, actor and filmmaker at Pearly Productions, thinks Asians are underrepresented in the media for two reasons. One is there aren't enough of us behind the scenes, so we don't write roles for them in, um, in TV drama, um, and the opportunities aren't necessarily there. The other reason, she believes, is because many immigrant parents can see the creative arts as unreliable career paths, so they discourage their children's ambitions to be actors and filmmakers. They're immigrants, so they value highly security, um, which is why I think they're sometimes less supportive of, of um, their kids entering the arts or entering the media. However, Arthur Chan, director of production at 64 Films, was lucky that his family fully supported him. Mum was supportive of what I did, you know. She probably didn't really understand what I did, I must admit. And she probably did, you know, if I was to tell her I was going to get a job at a bank or doing something along the lines, you know, like accounting or something, she'd probably be a bit more interested, I'd say. She would at least know what, what that was. With 12% of Australia's population being of Asian descent, there is an obvious lack of diversity on our TV screens. Professor Jock Collins from UTS says that the media industry has a lot of catching up to do with cultural diversity. Uh, you still see really mainly white news presenters, for example, except on SBS or ABC TV. Um, you do see some uh, sort of uh, immigrant actors and characters in soap operas and dramas and things like that. But in general, um, I don't think the representation on television matches the diversity of society. If actors from minority backgrounds are lucky to be casted into a role, they're usually typecast into a stereotypical one. Pearl says Asian stereotypes on screen reinforce a certain generalisation towards the ethnicity. You know, um, Asians as females, as sex workers, um, men as the emasculated butt of the joke or, you know, um, and that doesn't help. But I think for actors, when you graduate to get some professional work under your belt, sometimes you do have to do that. Pearl's series on YouTube, Minority Box, showcases the experience of actors and industry workers from a minority background. It started with a bunch of Asian women all around my age. We were going for auditions and we'd be in the same casting room and we all know each other. We'd be like, hey guys, and we're like, we should do something. Um, and just the kind of stereotypes in the industry are... Uh, I think not known to the general public, so it is great because it is like it. It allows them to sort of see it's they're not isolated in their experience of um, marginalisation, I guess, and discrimination in the in the media industry. Most films or stage productions that are shown in Australia heavily feature Caucasians as the main character, while actors from a minority background are given supporting roles. In the last decade, the Australian media landscape has gradually added a small mix of diversity on our screens. Professor Collins tonight. says that the majority of people in the media industry are white, but broadcast stations like SBS or ABC have content on their shows that feature people from minority backgrounds to try and reflect Australian society. It consciously promotes itself as a cosmopolitan uh, station as reflecting multicultural Australia. Uh, and so it often commissions shows and has an interest in shows that reflect that diversity. Uh, the ABC also, uh, to some extent, does that, but most of the commercial stations still uh, are trapped in a time world. Pearl says the inequality isn't on purpose, as Australian audiences just aren't used to seeing an Asian actor on screen. It's subconscious bias and we're not used to seeing it, so when we see an Asian in mainstream media, we do a double take and are just like, oh, all right, there's an Asian person, you know? Um, and so for that reason, we're not invisible, like being white is invisible, male protagonists are more invisible than female protagonists. Um, it's sort of saying a political statement when you put something that we're not used to seeing on screen. So for that reason, uh, it, we're less likely to get their opportunities. Australia's multicultural society may not be shown through the screen, but that didn't stop Arthur from moving to Australia. I felt I made the right decision coming over here and yes, uh, it was basically more opportunities over here across the ditch. First New Zealand. Pearl, on the other hand, says she doesn't want to move anywhere because she feels her place is in her home country. I generally feel like my place is 
in Sydney to make a change here, which is why I do work with the Equity Diversity Committee and, and, and the work that I do in Sydney. And I really love living here. And so I feel a little bit rebellious in that, like I refuse to leave, you know, and I want to make a difference here. Rowena Leung, UTS News.